Welcome. And today we're going to talk about the not so old America, but yet pretty old. In this picture, this is the old America. What we're seeing under the statue is a star fort. And we'll get to that in a minute. But really, this country just seems to have sprouted and suddenly, boom! You know, it seems to all be here. Everybody's hustling and bustling, and we have very little photos of the building of everything. And we just seem to have taken this for granted for the last, you know, couple hundred years. And it seems like we're just starting to wake up and realize what is all this. As I thought to myself when I first noticed the Star Fort under the Statue of Liberty, I, I didn't never even notice what she was standing on, or he. In any case, um, later I'll also get to the Utah settlers who came in the 1840s, and by the 1900s, the cities were completely bustling, according to history. Completely bustling to the brim. But in any case, let's start this video off in Puerto Rico, even though it's not a state, it's a part of the U.S. And Puerto Rico has two different styles going on. There's the older style, real old underneath. You see the base almost resembles the Japanese bases or even the Tibetan bases. Uh, newer buildings on older bases. And here we can see a castle Looks like they've painted it blue. They've painted all of Puerto Rico all different colors, I think, to throw us off. But you can see a much older architecture and then, you know, really wild colors, which is really nice. But here again in uh, Puerto Rico, we see this style uh, again with these futuristic antennas, either, uh, you know, some kind of purpose. I mean, back, back when, I, I'm sure they weren't just concerned about radio. Clearly, uh, you know, some future tech. And here we see a little corner of this San Juan area, a little corner, and just amazing. I mean, uh, the block work and uh, the top and bottom of this corner appear to be, you know, some sort of concrete cast, but apparently this was built in 1521, the Fort San Felipe, and it's surrounded with a 42-foot wall but look at this, I mean, just absolutely amazing. Again, 1500s, but whatever, you know, whatever with these, uh, with these times that we're given. But to realize that there's a much older structure underneath Puerto Rico, and here on the corner of the island, we see it poking out. And it's, uh, it's really fascinating, really, really fascinating. You can see here the column, look at the man, look at the man and the column and the size of the door. And again, this is Puerto Rico. I don't know what you thought of, uh, I didn't think about this when I thought of Puerto Rico. And recently, I, you know, they had hurricanes. Here we can get a better example of this San Juan fortress here and the 42 foot wall around it. And I think a lot of it is probably buried. It, it may very well be buried underneath it. It looks like uh, it's succumbed to uh, maybe a mud flood. But in any case, there was probably something on top. There was clearly maybe some glorious um, structure on top. And, you know, I'm surprised they haven't built, you know, something uh, on top of it to, you know, throw the eye off a little. and doesn't fit the timeline. Again, the greater architecture is on the bottom. And, you know, we see, I, I think in Turkey, we see uh, at the bottom left corner of, of the screen, you can see something. And, and I believe it's Turkey. I, I'd have to research that. But yeah, here again, here again in Puerto Rico, I, what is this style? And in the top right corner, you see this dome that, uh, that we see all over that, that just seems like there's another purpose to these buildings, a dual purpose. 
but this style um, is just amazing. Now here, uh, again, we see the two different styles. We see the ancient, and then, you know, they've turned this into a, a cemetery, but I think before that there was another purpose, you know, and this could have been some kind of resonating system, or here again, a look at the island, San Juan, Puerto Rico. And I think we're just seeing the foundation, of course. I mean, this is just the... Uh, whatever else was here is, is probably wiped out now. And, you know, it's similar to our, our base on our Statue of Liberty here. All we're seeing is the base, and, and it's wondrous architecture. I mean, people are tiny. People are like ants next to that. But again, the, the statue, it's amazing they left us this, really. I, I really do think it's amazing that they left this in plain sight. And, and you know what? It fooled me for a long time. I did not look at the base and realize this is something much older. And even during construction, we can see that this piece here is very weathered, very weathered, very old. And, you know, I, I think that's the whole idea, really. It's just uh, building on top of a past civilization. And that's certainly been our narrative. But our narrative has been, at least the lie has been, you know, we are advancing. And no, I mean, if you see here, this is junk on top of something great. Um you know, the old star forts of the world, and I'm not going to get into that in this video, but there's so many more in America as well, all over the world. So now I'd like to jump to Albany, New York, and I found this uh, old book, and it really showcases, um, again, what seems like the architecture of an older people. Really, really beautiful. And... You know, 1861, just fascinating. And, and we see this, uh, this just doesn't fit. This this just seems to have, I don't know. I mean, again, these, these cities seem almost artificial or, or having been created for the, for the new people, the new reset, as we could call it. And... They seem to have just been here. I mean, at one point, a lot of them become government buildings. Here we can actually see polygonal masonry. I mean, just, just amazing. This was apparently a church. So, you know, everything, everything is a church, you know, or a municipality. A church is a, is a good one to fool us with. You know, it really especially the breathtaking buildings. You know, a church is a really good one, I think. Here now, this is a high school, and this is a bad one, you know. I mean, they really went on a limb here and designated this one. And again, I, I didn't find any photos of the construction of this, but that's going out on a limb. I mean, a high school, really? Now here, just amazing. I mean, this is a, like a European, especially on top. I mean, this is not... This is something else. I mean, in this in this time period, I, I think I don't know. I, I, perhaps there are pictures. Here we see pictures of renovating. I believe adding on to the top, or perhaps the top was destroyed. But this cathedral is just glorious. And and again, I I think. It probably was destroyed on the top, like a lot of these buildings were destroyed. I mean, here's the, the final product. So perhaps they added these two top steeples here. When I went to New York City, that really blew me away. I mean, that was the most impressive uh, you know, building I'd seen in New York. You know, these, these are just absolutely amazing. I mean, this is not, uh, 
you know, these people have horses. You know, there's no need to build something like this. There's just no need, and, and there's no, really, there's no resources. Here now we see in Chicago, and they tore this building down, I think, just to hide the glory of it. But there's no need, again. And again, it was here when they had horses, too. We can see cars down there, but when there were horses, uh, no, a, a horse people, uh, as a transportation, don't build such things. Here, the Phil Philadelphia Penitentiary, I thought was really interesting and how castle-like it was. And, uh, here again we, we get another angle of it. And the weathering. I mean, what what kind of... Again, I mean, if that's uh, what they tell us, it, it shouldn't have that kind of weathering. I mean, that's... Uh, especially in that last photo, this story doesn't match up. And now here is a, a, a post office. I mean, really? Again, with these silly designations that I'm telling you. Now, this appears to be one of the earliest buildings. Look at the rubble in the background. I mean, what happened? This, this is supposed to be a city just being built. And it's in complete rubble back there. But the Smithsonian, there she was. You know, just, uh, you know, like she's been there a long time. That wasn't a new building. Here, I believe, they're adding on to it. So, there was already something there. And that's, you know, typically what we see. It's maybe re-roofing. Now, here as well, we can see, like, a more of a resurfacing. But not necessarily a building from scratch. Just adding to. Here again. I mean, look. You know... This again is horse, horse and buggy time, and look at the weathering of the Capitol building. I mean, just absolutely weathered. And here it appears as if there's been a mud flood. This photo is dated 1860. And so yeah, I mean 1860, and the Capitol is not yet completed. And now here again, this example, this is a lithograph, of course. But, you know, the horse and the buggy, and then look at the people next to the columns. Really? I mean, really? You, you have a horse and buggy, and you need columns like that? Now here is Coney Island, and Coney Island is actually what I believe be much older as well and I think serving another purpose now here's another look in its glory I mean just absolutely amazing and really not many people you know in this uh, time period shortly after what seems to be the reset and now here's a little catastrophe, and I'm surprised they, you know, have this in this little brochure, but... And look at the smokestacks in the background. Uh, really interesting. And it clearly looked like a power-generating station. Now here's Salt Lake in 1913. Salt Lake City in 1913. The Mormons came in 1847. 147 men. And suddenly this? Now here again, you know, this is a picture in the early 1900s, I mean, this was here, this was uh, here, and look at this, I mean, they've altered it to date, but this is like a power plant or something, it's about 15 miles west of Salt Lake City. Now here already it's changed, it's been, it looks a little different, or it could be the other side, but notice how it's built on a pier. And it's not far from the shore. Why wouldn't you build on the shore? Why would you put this glorious structure out in the water? And it's a salt lake. It's salt water. Now here again, look how built out the city is already by the early 1900s. Completely built out. This is what it looks like today. And yet 50 years ago, they came in uh, with wagons and oxen is what the narrative is. 
Now here is what I believe their Salt Lake Temple looked like. Now they say this is the construction, but it looks done to me. I mean, now they've added some pointy tops to it, but I think that's, that's all we see. This was here. And I believe the grid was here as well. I mean, like I've shown in some of my other videos, this ancient grid that runs all around, all around the earth. And here again we see a beautiful style. And not our style. This is uh, the most advanced of the Greco-Roman style. This is like the futuristic, but again, before us. And here again is the Salt Lake. Salt Palace is what they call it. And, you know, nowadays they have, like, rock concerts, but it doesn't look like this anymore. And it's not out on the water either. Uh, but again, I believe it was. A, it looks like a power-generating kind of station if you look at this. I mean, with all the antennas. Again, the city completely built out where, you know, only 50 years prior, the Mormon settlers came here and there were Indians and scuffles between the Indians. And yeah, look at this style. I mean, and again, this is the style that we find all over the world. It's not unusual, but but these columns, these almost uh, cast columns. And now here again is the Salt Lake Temple, but look at this old crumble wall. Again, early 1900s photo, uh, earlier, I believe, I, forgive me on this one, but yeah, look at the older wall, that's no longer there. And the ruins, I mean, this doesn't look like some new construction. Now, this photo just really amazed me, this, again, kind of a lithograph, but a lot of, I, I used to live in Salt Lake City for years, and the, this... We don't see these buildings. This is just absolutely amazing. It looks, in some cases, it looks nicer back then than it does now. Uh, again, this uh, architecture, which clearly looks mud flooded. You see the windows. Uh, and Salt Lake has examples of mud flooding all throughout. And this is a great example of it as well. And now here, this is a city and county courthouse building that I've been to several times. And those columns behind them seem to be the same cast that you see in St. Petersburg Square. Or in St. Petersburg. Just that gorgeous, uh, you know, those giant, giant columns. But the same formula, and I just found this fascinating. Again, this is here in the 1900s, so in 50 years... Uh, suddenly we're, you know, building St. Petersburg-esque style columns um, in Salt Lake City. I mean, absolutely amazing. Now, this next building I've been to as well, and they say that it's an old uh, insane asylum, and it's haunted, and, uh, you know, it, 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 it was really creepy in any case, but yeah, if you have a story, but what a gorgeous building now that I see it, now that I'm really seeing it clearly. Um, yeah. Here again is the city courthouse building. Just amazing. I mean, there's gargoyles. I, I have much better photographs, but um, in any case, I, you know, for this purpose, you can see what I'm talking about. But really, really beautiful and, and beyond its time, again. Um, now let's jump to the Alamo in Texas, 1854. Now this is a lithograph again, you know, but it uh, gives us a, a good example of what we saw there and what I'll show you in the next photos. Really something... If you look carefully, you see the swirling on the pillars and the columns. So, you know, the, the center square, if you, the center square is one building. And now the rounded top part, that was added, and even busted parts of the side were added. But we can see older photos, like the next one I'm going to show. Now here's really the remnants of what you used to exist at the Alamo, and now we can really see this beautiful Greek-Roman architecture. And here again, now I believe this is a, a lithograph, but a very good one. And... Uh, and 
fortunately they were there early enough. I mean, there's still grass growing on the ruins on top. I mean, this is, uh, this is probably a well-preserved picture. Now, this is San Jose, Texas. Now, I think this is, again, very similar. But notice the dome, again, like we saw in, uh, in many of the, what appear to be either cathedrals or, or power plants or sound resonators. Now, again, this is in Texas. And they tell us the, you know, Spaniards, you know, came and, and built these. But I don't care who built them. Just absolutely amazing for that time period. And, you know, I think the stories we're given, our people should be too primitive to be building this. This is in Texas. I mean, it just seems completely out of place. Now, here's, you know, what seems to be an old, really, old, you know, like an 1850s postcard kind of. And now it appears that there used to be two towers. Again, the strange antenna. I mean, you know, this. there's ancient tech going on here for its time period, just way out of place. And now here it shows it how it used to look. This is the oldest photo I found, and it actually had two towers on it. Two, uh, and, and now the one is missing, and you can still see the dome section in the back. So that's all for today. I'm just going to finish off with this little castle in Nevada, and I'd like to get to some Nevada in another video. But have a blessed day for now. Thanks for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and comment.